Welcome to the new studio. We've had our launch party and this is the first time we cook in it. A head to head to head, normal home cooks budget battle. We've tasked the normals with cooking up two different recipes, two portions of each for just 10 pounds. We have the groceries priced up. Boys, come and shop. Be nice, Jay. Question you've probably been asked a number of times. How much is your puff? One pound 75. I'll have some puff, please. You don't make a, I was gonna make a tart. Can I have some beetroot, please? That is a curveball starting point. Do you know what? I will have both of the potatoes, please. Taking both potatoes? Double potatoes. Greedy! I don't know whether that's a good decision. Please may I have some feta cheese? We were making the exact same thing. Were you going to make a beetroot and feta cheese tart? No, he hasn't got any beetroot. I haven't got any beetroot. <laughs> uh, can I get a price check on the cauliflower, please? £1.19. One of those, please. Quite a lot of collie for your money. Exactly. Oh, that is big, mm. yeah. I'm going to do a thinking potato. I'm cracking on. I'm going. And I'll come back. I'll have a, a cheap tin of chickpeas, please. Cheap tin of chickpeas, 75p. Uh, I'll have a red onion. Right, no, right, no, Jay, you don't hog the limelight. I'm not don't... hogging the limelight. I'm just, I'm doing all my shopping up front. How much is your tomato paste? Uh, 59 pence. How much is your chopped tomatoes? 82 pence. Whoa, give me the tomato paste, please. You got some stuff to crack on with, so we're going to start the clock in three, two, one, cook. Anybody know exactly what they're making? No. So far, some interesting tactics. We've got grated potato from Mike. We've got onion, diced and sliced from Jamie. So he's splitting half an onion in two different ways. And Barry, I'm going to guess, is roasting off his collie because he's got a baking tray, but perhaps not all of it. So my first challenge is making sure that I use these two potatoes in two completely different ways. So I'm grating one of them, and I think I might try and do some sort of pan-fried, rosty type thing. Much like Jamie's split the onion two ways, smart thinking from Mike. Can I get uh, two uh, cloves of garlic, please? No, it's a bowl, but it's 50 pence. The whole bowl is 50 pence. When could you last go to the supermarket and buy two cloves of garlic? All right, all right, it's fine. It's flavour, it's flavour. I've, that that I've that already broken that. them up for you. Oh, thank you. That is affordable flavour. What I've done so far is split my cauliflower into two. Half roasted, half is going to be rice. Both are going to be flavoured with garlic in different ways. <laughs> I, don't know, I, just, I don't know the rest of the dish. This is all just thinking time. Hey, but can I get a red onion as well? A quick reminder on prices, we are not charging them for vegetable oil, salt and pepper. And all the prices are based on today's prices that we bought in a mid-range supermarket. On occasion, we've bought a bag or a sack or a kilo and then charged them for individuals where that feels appropriate. So for my first dish, I'm going for a tart. I've got puff pastry as the base, and then on top of that I've got some tomato paste which I've mixed with a little bit of water, salt and pepper. Then going on with feta and slice of red onion into the oven, hopefully that'll puff up. For my second dish, I'm thinking like a chickpea stew type thing. I'm gonna need to think of some spice to add into it, but I've got onions sweating off, tomato paste, chickpeas, a bit of feta sprinkled on top I think will be good. Need some veg in there. In the meantime, I've also got some uh, of the rest of my puff pastry. It's gonna go into an oven and it's gonna be like our pie lid to our chickpea stew. Because Jamie stole my feta, I'm now really confused. That was my main flavour combo was beetroot and feta. It's just, it's throwing everything. I wanted feta and beetroot, so. <clears throat> I would like to stress for those of you at home, beetroot doesn't solely have to be put with feta and vice versa. Both ingredients have many, many, many <laughs> other wonderful food pairings. So I've also bought a red pepper to try and get some veg in. I'm thinking now of doing sliced onions and diced peppers through my potato rosti, which is a bit of a challenge without butter, which is really, really expensive. Ebbers, I'm committing. Could I have the eggs, please? Just dive in before you fix it. <laughs> <laughs> One pound 85. Thank you. Can I take this pork fillet, please? Pork. Can I have some smoky pea, please? What do we say? Pound a pot? Pound a pot. All dried spices and herbs, a pound a go. But obviously you're buying 
the whole lot, whether you use a teaspoon or a tablespoon, or in fact the whole 60 grams. Have any of you purchased something you now regret? Always buyers regret us. I'm stuck with a beetroot. Ah! Oh. I know! <laughs> oh. I could have done with that. Barry's the only person to have bought meat protein so far, and you've done two things with it. You've rolled half the pork fillet in seasoning, and you're going to pan fry. Pan fry and then finish the oven. What's your other half? Other half is then sliced thinly that I'm going to be stir frying off with my rice. Cauliflower rice, I see. Could I have some garlic? Oh, no garlic left. I've sold my bulb. I apologise the shop isn't better stocked. It's a weird shop where it's only got one of everything. I know. I think it's a constant reminder that one of the real challenges is cooking if you don't have access to a dry store at home. Can I have a chicken stock cube? How long have we got, Ebers? I haven't thought about time. <laughs> You've had 25 minutes, which gives you 20 minutes remaining. Lovely colour on that pork fillet. And remember, if you are using cheaper proteins, they often need a bit more seasoning, a bit more flavour. In this case, all of that colour on the pork is doing part of that job. How much is vinegar? Depends on what you want, Jamie. White wine vinegar, 185. Uh, balsamic, 225. Malt vinegar, just 55. Uh, I don't even know what that one is. Red wine vinegar, I'll charge you the same as that. Pretend it's full. That's how shops work, right? <laughs> I mean, point out, a lemon is only 30p, if it's acid you want. Oh, give us a lemon, Ebers. Think outside the box. Can I have some soy sauce, please, Ebers? Two pounds. I can hear some good sizzling coming from a few benches now. So this is a real problem. I can't tell whether this is ready to flip. Probably I can't really turn it over, because it's not really holding together. One question, Mike, where are your eggs going? Uh, on the top of the rosti. You've got 20 minutes of cooking time. Is that the best time to be frying eggs? No, but I just, I had the exact same thought, but I want to get it done. And yeah, the yolk won't run, but hey. Cold, rubbery eggs. I just want to get done. You're welcome, Evers. Hey, we, I eat your food cold all the time, Evers, you <laughs> hypocrite. Two lovely tarts. Speaking of which, I'd love your cucumber, please. I don't know what that, ha that has absolutely. 89 <laughs> pence. 89 pence, lovely, thank you. Jay's made good use of a cucumber. By ribboning, you get a lovely texture on a plate. You get more volume on the plate. This is going to go wrong. Is it crispy? <laughs> Nailed it. Evers, could I have two tomatoes, please? So with 12 minutes to remain, Barry has spent most of his budget. Mike, barely any. Yeah, and it's really caused me problems. I don't know what to do now. Got some prawns here, Mike, if you want them. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go for, ah, frozen. £4.50. Uh, or fresh, it's 4 20 Yep, slightly less weight, but they're kind of already done for you. OK, fine. That'll have to be something. Okay. How much is the sweet corn? £1.65. For one? For each. two. Go on, I'll have, I'll have the sweet corn. So this bit's the bit I'm most excited by. I've got a beetroot, roasted garlic and chicken stock puree. That's going to be the base of my pork fillet with some roasted veg on top. This dish I'm confident on, the other, I'm out of my depth. Barry getting his cauliflower rice into a hot pan. It's also got the garlic and the red onion in it. Jay's really the only one with budget left if he needs it. Don't think I need it, Ebers, I think I'm good. Oh, Ebers, I'm in big trouble. Right, well with nine minutes left, what are you gonna do? I honestly don't know. So how wet are your potatoes? Uh, they're not wet, they're very fluffy. Jay's already got one of his dishes on a plate. The rest of you have got eight minutes. So this is going to be severely underwhelming. Jamie has formulated two different dishes. They are already on plates. He has time and budget to spare. Baz has two dishes formulated in his head. They're not yet on plates. Will they come together? Mike is struggling for time and struggling for a second dish. One minute to go. Get these on a plate. The beauty of this studio is we can have a live audience in, not today. But when we do, no cheating on time. Same applies today. It's gone very quiet in here. There's just 30 seconds left. Barry's got one of his dishes on and plated. 
He's got 10 seconds to do the rest. I don't Come think on, he's going to get it. What's Mike got over on that side? Come on, boys. I'm going to ask you to step back from your plates in 10, 9, 8, 7, Oh, no, it had such six, good hope. 5, 4, 3, well done, Jamie. 2, and 1. Step back from your plates. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, I hope yours tastes good because I think you might have shown the pair of them up. Let's get these into the sexies. Uh, let's start with Jamie, who's gone for good use of puff pastry two different ways. So they might be quite similar in flavour, but they do appear as very different dishes. Oh, that is smoky. Mm. And rich mm. and lovely. Oh, did you buy a spice? You you smoky smoky yeah, that makes okay. it. That's yeah. great, mate. Yeah, great. It's not all the same texture because you've got your chickpeas, but then you've also got your peppers and your onions. Um, pepper's a bit of a crunch. The onions are sweet and soft. That's done well. And this one is a quick, simple throw together um, light lunch or, or dinner with a nice little salad. Now, it looks super fresh and inviting on the plate. The ribbons is good. It was just a bit of acid, really. I wanted that acid because it didn't have it anywhere else. And a bit of vinegar would have worked, but the lemon juice hopefully delivers. This doesn't suit you. I think that's clever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's clever because you also still had budget remaining. You bought eight ingredients and I feel like you used it all really well and you definitely got portions. <laughs> uh, save our pans as we cut into it, I'm going to turn that out. But the fact that it does turn out and good. hasn't stuck is nice. a really good thing. Um, good crispy edges. That is a hearty, delicious lunch. Like, if, you're, if you serve that as a like, midweek lunch for you're working from home, yes please. Pow. Oh yeah, lovely egg. Runny yolk, crispy rusty, some crispy bits and others, I think you want that. Mm. Well seasoned. That's great rusty. There's nothing wrong with that. I never think of making rusty because it mm. feels like an effort with the squeezing out of the mm. potatoes and getting rid of all the liquid and stuff, but that... That's great. That's lovely. Sometimes simple mm. ingredients, well mm. seasoned, so they still taste a potato with a little bit of onion, is a really positive thing and doesn't always need loads of flavour thrown at it. That is a good dish. Comfort. That. And then you were left with that. That dish feels like it's missing the bit you didn't go with. Now, you wouldn't have done it like that, but imagine all your potato bound with all of your corn and your chopped up prawn to make some awesome uh, fish cakes, pan fried with the sauce, you'd have had a dish. It was so close. So you were so close, you just kind of ran out of time. I had a proper shocker on that second dish because I didn't have a plan, I just had potato. I mean, the corn has got a nice char, it's all a bit wishy-washy, you know yeah. it wasn't the best. It's not even a portion, is it? But the crazy <laughs> thing is, your mash is not bad. Really? It's nice and seasoned. <laughs> Two dishes from Barry's, both had a really good plan. I feel like your downside was time. My downside was not knowing how long to cook the meat for. Yeah, that is a little bit too pink for pork, mm -hmm. but if we eat this end, it'll probably be better, and then we'll just microwave the other end. There we go. Blush is okay. Mm -hmm. That pink, more lamb, really. That is oh, really, really that is a nice. lovely sauce. And what you've done there mm. is you've used a cheap seasoning like a chicken stock cube, which gives you loads of flavour. It's mm. giving you the salt, it's giving you uh, that sort of robust stock flavour, mm -hmm. and a little bit of MSG. Mm. Collie, how I like it. Mm. Really happy. Charred, with still with a crunch, it's not mushy. Mm -hmm. Too many people hate cauliflower because it's steamed and mushy and soggy. That's not. That was the dish with the plan. That was a little bit more of a struggle. Whilst I love cauliflower as an ingredient, mm. I'm less of a fan of it as cauliflower rice, because mm -hmm. I think you need to do a lot to it. So but you have got soy and garlic coming through that, which mm -hmm. makes it actually really more and delicious. That's lovely. And it's really nicely balanced, mate. Not a looker. It's not a looker. 
and it might be partly the bowl you've chosen, it all mm. kind of becomes the same. Mm. But it's really tasty and it's a really nutritious bowl of food because most of that is just cauliflower. My favourite dish is probably that one. And the reason I say that mm. is because until you'd spent four over four pounds on the prawns and one pound 75 on the corn, you'd barely spent any of your budget and you still had all of that and the basis of that. So I think that is a great, very, very affordable, super tasty, well-executed dish. I think I, I agree, yeah. that's the best play here. Unfortunately, that means you can't win. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, that's very fair. I think this was really impressive budget and time planning. Jamie was twiddling his thumbs at the end of it and has two well-structured dishes. And that's a bit different, but both are good. So my winner, on the basis that the... It's not you, Mike. <laughs> well, I'm back here. But you got, you got dish of the day. Dish of the day. Dish, dish of the day. day. That's a new thing. <laughs> I have a certificate. I think Jamie takes it. Mm, yeah. An all well round done. winner. Stand up moments here. Stand up moments here. Uh, that was altogether a better two plates of food or four plates of food. Well done, mate. For 10 pounds. First win at a new place. Maybe this is the start of something new, a new direction for me. And a new path for me to go down. It's not the Oscars, you don't need to do a speech. <laughs> well, I'd like to thank you. <laughs> but you guys can do a speech. Do a speech in the comments. Tell us who you think did the best gameplay today and which normal would have taken your win. And we are well on our way to our live Christmas show on the 14th and 15th of December. It's Traitor at Culinary Castle. It's absolutely insane. You can find out all the details down in the description box.